Hi guys, it's Sam here with Bargain Hunting Blonde and today I am bringing to you a comparison between three of my favorite Louis Vuitton wallets and they are all mini wallets. So let's jump right in. First, we're gonna start with my oldest of the three mini wallets. And it is actually in a much bigger box than it is because I did have to have a repair done on it. So I'll explain that to you guys in a second. But this is my mini wallet I'm talking about. This is the Victorine. This is the monogram print, print, excuse me, with the rose ballerine button and the rose ballerine interior. Um, it doesn't really look like I've used it. There's not a lot of like stretching on the card slots or anything, but I have used this wallet. Uh, this was my first mini wallet from Louis Vuitton and I had been waiting for them to do the monogram with the rose ballerine interior because I was just so in love with it. And when they finally did, I had to pick it up. Picked this up three years ago, a little over three years ago now in, um, it was Harrods, in Harrods in London uh, when I was there on vacation with my at the time fiance. So let's kind of dive into a little bit about this wallet. I'm sure you've seen lots of reviews on it. So it is a snap button closure, which is what I did have to have repaired. Um, I will link my repair video either down below or up top um, about my repair with Louis Vuitton. Because it was within a year, I did not have to pay for the button to be replaced and recovered in leather. Uh, if you do, it, I believe it's $39, or at least that's the last price I was quoted. Might have gone up since they have had a lot of price increases. Um, that is, this is not my favorite thing about this wallet is the leather cover button. Um, if I could go back and redo it, I'd be tempted to get the one that just has the brown interior because it has a gold button and you, yes, the gold would wear, but you wouldn't have this issue with the leather wearing. So that's definitely something to keep in mind, but I do love the pop of color on the inside. So I'm not sure if like push came to shove, if I'd really do that. So this wallet has six card slots in two different areas. It also has slots right here, which is gonna kind of be hard to see. And again, on the other side. So you can get a lot of credit cards in here. Um, for me, I definitely have to carry a lot of different cards. Uh, just because if I'm traveling internationally, I have a card that I use internationally. Um, I have a Brit British residency permit that I have to carry, which is just like a British ID, but it adds to my California ID. Um, so I end up using these slots and these side slots a lot. Uh, this piece is made in France. There. And the really nice thing about this wallet is it does have a full bill compartment. So you can stick bills back there, you can stick receipts back there. Most mini wallets don't have that, but this one does. It also has a nice zipped slot where you could put coins. Um, I actually don't like to put coins in my wallets. I do have a coin purse for that, currently using the Hermes Bastia. So normally there I would also put, you could put more cards, receipts, stuff like that, or just not use it. I think this wallet holds a ton of stuff for its size. It's going to fit in basically any mini bag because if you're not putting a lot in it, it is pretty slim. Um, but I think that, you know, you do need to consider that this wallet is going to get wear not only to this button, but it does have side glazing that every time you're opening it, you are putting pressure on the glazing. Um, my glazing luckily has not cracked. And when the lady who took in my repair at the Louis Vuitton in San Jose, um, she was very nice. I actually always drive down to San Jose, even though I live like 10 minutes from the Palo Alto store because the Palo Alto store people are not nice. So I'm going to go somewhere where people are nice and San Jose, they, I've always had really nice sales associates there. So, she was really shocked actually that I had not done any sort of damage to the glazing, but that is totally something to consider with this wallet. Also, it does not fully zip up. So if you're just kind of placing something in here, being like, oh, it'll be safe and then closing it up, it's gonna slip out in your bag. Um, that's just the type of wallet it is. It does not have closures on the sides. So definitely something to consider. Do love this wallet. Um, I would recommend either looking on the pre-loved market to buy it or buying it in Europe because it is kind of pricey for the size it is. Um, I know there's one smaller called the Zoe, uh, but the Zoe is actually too small for me. So the Victorine for me is good size, small wallet. Next, we have a wallet that is, I'm pretty sure discontinued and no longer made. I have not seen it on the website in a really long time, but I love it. Louis Vuitton, please bring it back, bring it back in any color. I'd buy another because I have started to wear this wallet because I think I used it for a year straight maybe more than your straight, and it goes in and out of a lot of bags. So that, and it's not really a wallet, but we're gonna call it a wallet, is the Louboutin Multicart. This is in the monogram 
with the raspberry color. I know Louis Vuitton didn't call it, call it raspberry, but I cannot remember the exact color. Um, I actually found out about this piece after it had allegedly been like discontinued, and I found it at one random store when I was in London. Um, and I was really excited to find it. I did not care what color the zipper was. I know it did come in a beautiful turquoise, came in an orange, um, but the raspberry works for me. This is an accordion style wallet. And again, it's more of a card holder, but for me, it works perfectly as a wallet. So it has one, two, three, four, five slots which is great, it holds tons of cards. I just fold up my cash, uh, like I said, um, it would, coins might slip out, because it's kind of hard to see, but when you look at the wallet, you can see that it does um, have a little bit of a outlet right there that if you would put something small in here, it would slip out. But um, I use my Hermes Bastia for my coins, so that wasn't an issue for me. This piece is also made in France. And I love this. I use it all the time. Like I said, I used it for a full year. It is so small. It is a little wide, but it's really not bad. It's gonna fit in any mini bag. You can put it in like this, you can put it in like this. And the best part is if you do put something loose in it, you can zip it up. I love that. I love a wallet that has a zipper on it. I would love Louis Vuitton to bring this piece back. I would definitely buy another one. Um, let me show you a little bit of the wear that you do get on this. I'm not sure how evident it's gonna be. Let me find out, oh, here's the best one. So you will see right here, if the camera will zoom, that there's a little bit of like um, tarnishing because the zipper does hit the accordion. Like there's just no way around it, no matter how careful you are, that is going to happen. Um, and when I saw it, I was like, okay, maybe I need to switch out wallets so I'm not using this all the time. But I love this wallet, it holds so much. Um, I have been thinking about getting the Chanel card case XL um, because the initial Chanel card case that's very similar to this with a zipper only has three gussets and it's just not big enough for me but i saw the xl when it came out in like the mint color or the tiffany blue and it had another card slot making it four so i think that would actually work for me and i'm definitely considering it i don't have oh i do have one um, i have one small leather good from chanel but i don't have a lot i really stick with louis vuitton i think the canvas is really durable so there's this little wallet the louis vuitton multicart and i'll show you it compared to the victorine it is much smaller um, in profile and height wise, and but it is wider. But again, you could stick a lot in this Victorine, so you could make the Victorine pretty wide. Um, so definitely something to consider. But yeah, you'll definitely see that there's a big height difference there. And last but not least, sorry guys, I keep having to reach, um, is my Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse. I do not use this as a coin purse, I use this as a wallet. I picked this up in Zurich from my SA who brought it out for me. I was like, Sam, I think you might want to see this piece. I was like, this looks like a Damier, a bean, zippy coin purse. Like I have seen these before, but this one actually has uh, my favorite color, the Rose Ballerine interior. Um, and I was like, yep, um, I need that. So um, I love this piece. I'm not sure if it ever came to the States or not with the Rose Ballerine interior. Um, it probably did. I just don't really shop a lot at Louis Vuitton in the States since I do spend so much time in Europe. And I find that in Europe, the sales associates are so much friendlier. Um, I do look very young. I have had some very bad run-ins with some very rude sales associates who then all of a sudden become nice once they look up my profile and see how much Louis Vuitton I've bought. And I'm like, that's not how we should be playing this game. Everyone who's coming in this door who wants a bag should be treated equally who wants to look at a bag, you know, these are big decisions. If someone wants to come back three or four times, look at the same bag, I, I don't see an issue. I do understand that they want to make sales. They do have kind of a commission system, but it just sometimes breaks my heart when they're just judging everyone based on what they're wearing. You like really don't know, especially like living in Silicon Valley, like some of the richest people, um, you know, don't have the best fashion sense. They're incredibly smart. They live in Atherton, which is the most expensive zip code in all of California. and you know, they're still getting judged based, and they could probably buy Louis Vuitton if we're being real here for some of the people I know. So I just wish that would happen. And I know it's kind of human nature to judge people, but wish if, you know, people would have better experiences in store. I don't like shopping so much in store. I basically just order online if I'm in the US. So there is that. Um, this does have four card slots. So it's got two on each side. And then it also has this middle slot, which is where I put all my IDs. And by all, I mean, I have two. Um, I also will fold up money and just kind of put it in between here. Um, and then there are also these back card slots. So all in all, I would say this actually has seven card slots, which is a lot. 
Um, I love this wallet. It is very skinny. Even if you put a lot in it, it doesn't get much bigger than this. You will sometimes start to see like an outline of something if you're putting too much in this wallet. Um, I also find the Damier Aben is really hard wearing, which I really appreciate. And I do like this wallet. It's probably my second favorite. So to compare it to my favorite, which is the Multicart, you have the Zippy Coin. Um, as you can see, again, the Zippy Coin is taller, but it is skinnier. So if you do have a really skinny mini bag, the Zippy Coin might be a better option for you. Uh, both do zip all the way around, which I found is really a great um, necessity for me because I just throw receipts in my wallets and want them to stay in my wallet while in the Victorine, they will sneak out <laughs> of the Victorine through the side. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold all three. Let's see if I can do this. I have big hands, but this is not the easiest. There we go. So you will see that the Victorine is the tallest, then the Zippy Coin, then the Multicart. The Victorine is most like a traditional wallet, while the other two are more like bigger card holders. I do not like card holders um, in the traditional sense. I do own two. I own one from Gucci and one from Saint Laurent, but they don't hold enough for me. And I just find them way too small. You could not put receipts in them. So for me, it's hard to get the cash in and out of that middle slot. So these for me work better than a card holder. And I've actually been considering selling both of my card holders. Um, I have actually never used the Saint Laurent one ever. It's still in its box with all its tags. So I'm probably going to sell that just because it doesn't work for me. I want it to work for me, but it's kind of like the walk for me. Like walks don't work for me. And I know that. And so I do not buy them. And I thought the card holder would work for me, but it does not. And so I need to, like, I have stopped buying them. I probably haven't bought one in like three years. So that is my review of these three. If you can find this one, definitely buy it. But if you want to go new, I would say the Zippy Coin is definitely a great option. I love that this one has a little bit of Rose Ballerine on the inside, but you can definitely find it in every canvas. They make it in leather, they make it in the Epi and the Emprunt. So there's tons of options for this little guy. Highly recommend. Again, this wallet's not bad, but not my favorite because I like Zippy wallets. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, if you like reveals, comparisons, unboxings, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below so you get notified every time I upload a new video, just about once or twice a week. If you wanna see how I style my purchases, please make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and my blog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.